the community composition run, which is community votes on various unit compositions for every mission as we go through wings, in addition to voting on the planet order. So people in the Discord have been submitting various compositions. I guess you can do it in the community, that uh, link as well. Obviously, there's no composition here. We're just going to get through it and then make sure a mod is getting the votes up for mission number two because that is when the run actually begins. We just have to get to it, you know? Raiders roll. You can count on I'm going to have to update the title. Uh, I can't. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. One sec. Sounds like a plan. Uh, try again. Try again. Go up that road. Something weird was popped up, and I just saw it. Sell me. Time to man up. Unable to up. Oh, do I have to like re? What's the plan? Oh, it's Nightbot being. Okay. Let me change that. Blast it. On me. There we go. It has been changed. Sounds like a plan. Where is everyone? So do we have a vote going for the first one? Count on me. There we go. Outlaws comp, make sure you guys vote in it. The options are SCV only, medic SCV, or two medics per marine. And remember, there's going to be different options for every single mission. It's just at the beginning, we don't have a whole lot of options available to us. Some of them are meaner than others. Uh, I believe the way that I'm going to do it is that I'll try to do very strict. Uh, maybe we should run a poll. Am I allowed to use the units that I start with if they're not specifically part of it? So, for example, I start with a couple marines. However, I will just lose if you pick medic SCV and I can't do that. I will literally die to the first attack wave and there's nothing that we can do about it. So, uh, if you're saying no, then congratulations, this run is over. Because it's like eight marines. Jim's really low. I don't want to die. Yeah, make a poll after the poll. I would appreciate that. We have to figure out that basic... Basic idea. So basically, it's going to be whether it is a... Are these the things I'm allowed to build, or are these the things I'm allowed to have? It generally doesn't make a big difference, but it will, like... If you guys pick SCV only stuff or, you know, medic SCV like you just did, it has some bearing there. Am I able to macro enough medics to keep the SCVs alive by the first attack wave? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, the poll for starting units is up. Please vote in it. I would appreciate that. And it's a one minute poll, which means I'm going to just wait for a minute and we'll see exactly what it is. And then we'll get into it. Thanks to your actions, because that first attack wave does come fairly swiftly. Oh, it might be longer than a one minute poll. It's a two minute poll. Oh no. This is the end of the world. This old outpost don't look like anything special. It does look like people are saying that starting units are okay. For the most part, the kill immediately crowd is very tiny in comparison. So I'm not going to kill them immediately. They're at least allowed for defense. For the people on the archives watching, the three options are can we use starting units? Yes, always. No, only for defense. Or no, kill immediately. And it does in fact appear that one of the first two is going to be the option. We'll see which. We're going to move this building. And then try to get some of the gas up here really quick. It's very close between only defense and yes, always. Are you as an archive viewer saying hi to yourself so you can watch it later? That's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. 
If it ties, um, then I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, this is a very, this is so cutthroat. Wow. People have very strong opinions. Oh no. As a <laughs> so close. Ooh, 123 to 119. And it looks like using starting units is okay. I don't know how many medics I can afford to build. Wow. Alrighty. Oh, medics are pretty supply intense too. So my goal for this first attack wave is to pull them into a shoot. And then I'm probably gonna have to get a second a second command center to macro out SCVs. So that I can have enough. I wonder if it's correct to have a group of SCVs on repair and a group of SCVs for attacking. Or if I want to just have them all be murder SCVs. If we had rank choice voting. Man, I wish we had rank choice voting. That'd be cool. Yeah, like, I don't... I don't see a way to clear that without losing all of my SCVs and then dying at the next attack wave. Assuming that I had to kill all my guys. So from now on guys, there's going to be a lot of polls. I'm not going to be able to announce all of them. I will try to when I can. However, there's just going to be a good number of them. Because we're constantly going to be polling what compositions we go for the next missions in addition to where we go, what planets we go to next. I'm hoping that people rush me to planets with interesting units so that then interesting compositions can be made more quickly. So for the no static defense one, it's no static defense and no walling. Which means that I can't just use like barracks to wall or something. That would be kind of OP. No missile turrets, no bunkers, no walls. I know they're going to force me into fireback comps. <laughs> I wonder what I should... So one thing about this run is that I am going to be the one that decides what I do in terms of uh, armory upgrades. And I'm going to... Oh, I will say that I'm going to get the Raven and the Predator from the laboratory. Because I know that's what people want. This better be good. However, I get to pick the upgrades so that I can react to challenges instead of them being impossible. You know what I mean? Like, if I get forced into some weird Goliath thing, then I, like, I can at least get the Goliath upgrades. The doctor is in. I might actually need a third command center. So I can build SCVs faster. I'm gonna need a lot of supply. Swing here. Do they have one one yet? They do. Okay, so this is as strong as they're ever going to get. We don't have to deal with anything more than that. That's pretty nice. Goliath comps are pretty bad. I don't recommend trying them. Are rescuable units okay? I assume that they were part of the... I didn't specify it, but... I think rescuable units are fine. If I think it's just stuff on the map. It's army co composition I can produce is X, if that makes sense. The rescuable units barely ever come up anyway, because there's only a couple missions that have them, so I don't think it's like super important. No stack defense or walls. That's gonna be the next one. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off our backs. Those folks need our help, Tigus. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. Okay. Sure. Hello, friends. We can grab this area and keep making the SCVs. We're with you. Just tell us where you want us. Welcome aboard, boys. Dominion can go to hell. Rain 
Rainer's the man. Uh oh, careful. It's Rainer's voice. Bad guys are that away. Yeah, I definitely need another command center here. The doctor is in. SCV ready. I'm about ready to try to engage the bunker of death, though. That's going to be quite an experience. SCV ready. Yeah, this is unbrutal. The doctor is in. I should have mentioned that. Sorry. These fights are already not going well. Warning. Dominion Hellions approaching. Go get them! Wait, where'd they go? Need Approach! This is so stupid. <laughs> okay, before an attack wave comes, we gotta take down the bunker. This is the hardest part of the mission. We did it. Nice job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. Between your boys and my skills, we are gonna go a long way together. Then we bring everybody up here and we are going to maybe halt medic product. Nah, they target the medics. But the medics don't deal damage. The SCV is my real DPS here. So focusing on them is pretty good. I have to be able to kill that tank. That's the big thing here, is if I don't kill the tank, I'm going to be really, really bad. Okay, let's try it. Okay, we got on top of him. We're gonna pull back. There, it's on siege. Go, 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 go. Take it out. Come on, SCVs. <laughs> got it, we're safe, we did it. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're gonna be able to take all the rest down. Let's uh, keep going. Wow, those did not die quick. Oh, this cleanup period is going to be very slow, isn't it? Did I say mineral field depleted? Our SCVs are under attack. Oh, wow. I legitimately was about to run out of money. If I had not made this attack work and maybe had to, like, remax, I might have just mined this map out. So next mission is no walling, no static defense. I'm going to have to take out a bunch of missile turrets to begin with. That was fun. Look at these fields. Oh yeah, the uh, 16 minerals remaining. That is a lot of minerals. Mm. They were healthy. Well, that was the most exciting outlaws I've had in a long time. Planet poll is up, my friends. Please vote in it. So first things first, we sell all of these, and then we gotta target down all these missile turrets. We're getting tore up out there. We gotta fall back to high ground. And I am a very wealthy man suddenly. Hopefully this makes this mission more fun. Never been a fan of it. I probably need medics, huh? I'm not going to get the 
gas yet. But I think that medics would be pretty strong given that I'm not going to have access to the other tools. I'm going to have to stick on the high ground. We're going to strategize this in the same way that we had to when I was playing with Jay Barino in the co-op because that mission was very difficult. I still am like 99% sure it's going to be fine. This better be good. Uh, do we want to use the bridge? Yeah, we'll use the bridge. That's damage. The Hydra didn't attack for whatever reason. Okay. Zero Hour truly is the hardest mission. I'm actually going to move these farther back because I don't want to accidentally have to, like, pull back and then be unable to pull back because it'd be technically using them as SimCity or whatever. I don't want to accidentally cheat. Uh, let's get the money up here and over here as well. That seems like a good use of my time. We're going to the evacuation. Whoa, Lord Chantry really wanted to go to the evacuation, I think. Thank you for the 1,500 bits. And now we're being attacked. That's not good. If only I had a bunker. How do I do this? Oh, gosh. Let's see if we can... Nope. Uh, Ninja's Exit, thank you for the sub. Multiple air bogeys detected. ETA, right the hell now. And then the mutas come, which we can also deal with. Get the medic production going, get an armor upgrade. How many mutas is it? Good number, six. That's gonna get some kills. Two. They yeah, killed three guys, not the worst. So, evacuation comp, I am really scared. Please. <laughs> There are definitely some things that could be bad. The By the way, guys, with unit comps, I'm always allowed to build missile turrets because I know you're going to pick things that can only hit ground and then there's going to be air units and it will be impossible. What comp am I most scared of? I don't want to say. Probably mass predators on all in because I don't think that could be do done. <laughs> I'm not going to answer on the evacuation because I will... <laughs> It'll be bad. You want a piece of me, boy? This is a rather small army. This better be good. Kinda concerns me. I can't actually afford four racks of production. Mayday, mayday. We're trapped by the Zerg. The Maybe I can if I if you can reach us, later. Please help. Predators are just absolutely garbage. They are incredibly, incredibly overcosted for what they do. They lose really hard to most armies in decent numbers. And that's the big problem, is they're actually incredibly OP 1v1. It's just in... As the army sizes scale up, it gets real bad real fast. Mass Static Defense 1, okay. So it's the opposite of this mission. Everything is balanced over a long period of time. Add on complete. If I could replace a predator with the Herc and Wings Liberty, would I? I wouldn't use either. Also, it'd be really confusing because then that one tier would have the Herc and the Hercules. The <laughs> People would be like, "Why? Why did you name it like this?" Are you ever gonna attack? No, you're just four Zerglings. Yeah, we do have fire bats on smash and grab. That'll be fun. 
Because fireballs are infamously good against Protoss. The doctor is in. Go, go, go. My meta count's really high and my marine count's kind of low. I actually don't know what the red or what the ratio of medic marine should be. The doctor is in. I guess I'm just gonna spend all my gas. I'm sure that they tested it, just like this and they know it's possible. Armed and ready. How do I take the force field bridge with only fire bats? It's called running them out of force fields. <laughs> It'll be a magical experience for the whole family to enjoy. One medic to 3.5 marines. You know, when you put the decimal in there, it absolutely sounds like that is the correct thing to do, right? If you were to go one medic to three marines, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's, you know, whatever. He's just making a thing up, and it sounds reasonable. But when you say 3.5, it's like, this guy is obviously a medicologist. He has his PhD in medicology and understands exactly how many medics you need in order to do this. Whoa. Hello. That was a bit spooky. I guess it is Spooktober. The double flank. Keep at it, boys. The ride's on its way. Hmm. By the numbers. They're really not attacking. Man, I was hoping the bunkers were OP and it'd make this mission more fun. There's a literal tank in the last mission. I think it's done something more than three roaches here. Okay, here comes the hard part. Okay, I've won the game. I have Marud. Actually, I guess that's not who it is anymore. I've cured. Do we go get him? Yeah, we go get him. I'm gonna leave a couple guys at home because I don't want to be sneak attacked. Marines are good. You just don't have to babysit them, which is nice. Especially after yesterday, or not yesterday, earlier today, when I had to babysit all those ravens, it feels really nice to just have a unit that can fight without me manually telling it to attack. And telling it to not shoot itself in the face. We're gonna make this a really big plus. Now what? Maybe I should clear out the map. That might be a thing to do. Oh, no dump truck. Oh, sorry, bud. Yeah, it is always relaxing to play normal after a challenge run. I had a point where I was just doing too many challenge runs in a row, and it really was bleeding me dry. You gotta be, you gotta mix it up with some normalcy. Otherwise, it is just too much. Uh oh. Hey, I did the thing. It's one of those skills that I used to never have because I didn't play Terran, and I'm getting slightly better at it as time goes on. My mouse accuracy was always one of my worst traits. <laughs> Had to change that with Devils real quick. Can I show the description of the artifact? Uh, transport for the artifact piece. A Richard built... A Richard Blit built tractor trailer. Haul it. Exciting. 
I know that everybody here is a big fan of tractor trailers, so you just wanted to know the model. I'm gonna take guys off gas because I'm bored mining gas. It's too much work. Instead, they are going to focus on expanding the plus sign into the heavens. So, let's go secure the low ground again. Mineral field depleted. So how many medics do I have? I'm trying to keep that ratio, but I didn't think about it till now. 19, which means I need a lot more medics. Because that's uh, 98 marines. Yeah. Oh, I messed up. I'm so sorry. So the reason that I decided to die right here is because of all marines. I don't even need to target. The reason that I decided to not kill the bases is because I want to feel the full brunt of the Zerg in the final strike. And if you kill the bases, then you don't actually get to do that. Because their hatcheries build a lot of the final attack. It's not just Nidus's. I want to see if they can threaten me. If they can make me afraid. They won't. We all know this. But I can hope. Also, the plus sign is really more of a... I don't know what it is. But one of the pluses just doesn't go very far. Ooh. I'm getting ringing in my ear. That's new and exciting. What is that called? Like, tinnitus? I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Oh, it's very loud. Ow. Maybe it's the CIA t testing some sonic weapon on me. Ah. Hmm. Well, guys, if the CIA is experimenting on me, I'm glad that you're all here to be here. To, uh, be... Evidence. You can always get paid to talk to them and say how it went. Uh, I believe that his play went down 2.7% while he was being sonically shocked. This will be good in the next espionage thing, because everyone knows that a spy that is 2.7% worse is instantly dead. Thank you for being consultants for the FBI. You do a good job of it. Oh no! Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. Come on, Hat Mourner. I can't believe I've never called him Hat Mourner before. I like it. Dat Hat Matt. I mean, it is more stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's more stuff, but it's just... It's Space Marine. It would be more of a problem if the Banelings could connect. They'd probably cascade out of control. But it's just too easy. There's no way to make this mission hard. Well, uh, actually, Pacifist was really hard. <laughs> now that I say it, I don't want to jump the gun.